Alright, quick update on Jasmine. So it looks like since uh, yesterday's video, we did fail the retest of this orange box here. So I gave you two trades in yesterday's video that I would be keeping an eye out on. Uh, number one was uh, this trade where we broke up. We did something like this. We back tested it, closed the daily above the orange line, and then I would be longing uh, for a breakout all the way up here, uh, an 86% gain. Uh, we obviously fell right through this like butter. I was even looking at it on the hourly and four hourly, and we really didn't hold this for long. We did fall for it pretty quickly, and we've broken down, back tested it, confirmed its resistance, and now we are heading down. So, in the macro term, uh, give me a second to get into the micro term, but in the macro term, this is technically another higher low. So the market structure in the macro trend is still extremely bearish. There's no linear line that defines it, but if I draw something like this, you can see that we are gradually heading down uh, if we do a line of best fit. We also do have a lot of selling volume coming in and you know the RSI is heading down, the MFI isn't heading down too strong. So I would like to see it come down a little bit more. Now, uh, we also said there could be a possibility of a second trade, which in my opinion would be the most bullish scenario. And that would be coming down and retesting this previous bottom down here at two, three cents. So if we do come down to 2.3 cent, all the way down here is still a little bit of a hefty drop, but nonetheless, obviously Jasmine has been going parabolic. So 28% move down after, you know, shooting up all this much is not too much to ask for. So I would be looking for a 28 or 29% drop down to this orange box at two, three cent. If we did something like this, came down, closed the daily candle above it, and then started to push up, I would be longing from this point here. So uh, our first trade that we talked about didn't play out because we didn't backtest this zone uh, so we obviously didn't do that we are now waiting or for me specifically i'm waiting for a retest of this two three cent region now we don't necessarily have to come all the way down to the two three cent region if we take a micro fib and you know talk about this technically our 786 let me make sure i've got the right one because there's a lot of noise here so the 786 is right here on this um on the top of this uh, purple box so i think this is why we had the top of this purple box in yesterday's video i obviously removed microfib to just make it a little bit easier to see but you can see anywhere in this purple box here i will be expecting a bottom so we've pretty much come to the bottom of the box if we are going to bottom round here at the two nine cent region so be it i personally would not be longing from this one because uh, i i do believe you know a little bit more of a flush out would be the healthiest thing for uh, Jasmine token. So this would be a 53% drop from the top. Um, we've already come down, you know, 36%, and you know, from the wick down here, it's 38%. So, you know, asking for a little uh, bit more to come down to this two three cent is nothing crazy in my opinion. If we do manage to hold anywhere in this purple box, we will be still keeping the micro bullish term. Uh, but do bear in mind, this is all micro until we do start you know breaking above these all-time highs and these levels here then I, I wouldn't be too too convinced that jasmine is going to um you know go on a massive rally but like i said uh, your retest level is anywhere in this purple box if we bottom at two nine cents so be it if we bottom at two three cent that's my best case scenario i would be longing from the two three cent and um Similarly, if we do break out of the top, you know, in the next day at three nine cent, I I would find it very likely we could be having an increase of 86, 87 percent. But personally, I would not be entering that trade. The only trade that I plan on entering now, if it does come into fruition, is a back test of this uh, orange line here down here at two three cent. That would be very bullish in my opinion. That would mean that we've confirmed this region as a bottom. We've come back, back tested previous micro highs flipped as support and then we can really start you know talking about moves all the way up to seven seven point three cent so that is all i see for jasmine do bear in mind i'm not fomoing into this right now because the macro downtrend is still extremely bearish if i was to enter like i said a retest of the two three cent i would be entering at this point if we did have a bounce if we do just come down and you know start chop go trading sideways on the two three cent i would not be interested in longing on the same hand you know if we do fall below it and start kind of hovering around the bottom i also would not be trading because uh, i do think a breakdown of the two three cent would confirm this is a local top so that's all i'm looking for for jasmine um 
if we do take this measurement tool, let's say for example, if we do have this trade planning out that I was talking about, if we break down to the two, three cents, it has a small bounce up to let's say about here and we take our trade after it started to head up a bit, we, we could literally see like a 2x return on this trade. So that is definitely something I'm interested in taking. It will be a small part of my portfolio, uh, you know, one or 2% max. Uh, I'm not, you know, I'm not a fan of um, doing altcoin trades with more than 1% of my portfolio really. So uh, I do trade few and often, and when I do, I do small leverage or I do uh, small amounts compared to my portfolio. So, you know, I, I wouldn't need to uh, stay up at night. I'd be able to sleep if I lost it. So that's all I'm looking for. Retest of the two, three cent. If we do that and start heading up, I will be longing. And then we can, you know, talk about that 2x trade all the way back to the 200 day moving average all the way up here. So that is all I see for Jasmine. If you are in Jasmine, best of luck. And once again, none of this is financial advice. It's just my own opinion on the market. And you've always got to do what's best for you. Cowboy out. Peace.